Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, Rewards Day with Pat the Glory Cards in packs. I want to talk about the market movements that I expect to see today and the guaranteed Path to Glory player SBC that was added to the code yesterday that did not end up coming. We saw the 82 times 8 and the 83 times 10 released. Uh, but we did not see the guaranteed PTG Team 1 player that was added to the code. Now, again, I think this is coming today now that it has been in the code. And the fact that it did not come yesterday, I think that's very, very likely that it comes today. I want to talk about this SBC a little bit and uh, what that means for PTG, PTG prices, because I think that's going to make some interesting movements on the game today. Now, we're going to have interesting movements with supply and rewards. These cards are pretty rare. Some of them were sold earlier on yesterday on, on, thir on Wednesday. Now they're even coming back a little bit. So these cards are rare and they show demand. So I really like them for a rise post rewards into the content drop today. We'll talk about that too. But again, contains one Path to Glory player from PTG Team one. So this is only going to be path to glory players from team one. Now, again, this is another example of why I think we're going to get a team two. We'll be watching out for a loading screen today or whatever along those lines. But I think this SBC is coming today. Now, if you take a look at the team, what is this SBC going to cost? Now you have three players in here that are over 2 million coins each. Vinicius, Griezmann, and Havertz. You have two more players that are right around a million coins. So basically five players that are around that million coin threshold or more. Then you have a couple at 500k, a couple 300ks, and then a bunch that are around like the 100 to 200k range. So where does EA price this SBC? In my opinion, with the way fodder is right now, in 88 rated squads, like 260, 270,000 coins, that's not that crazy. Uh, 260k, I mean, how many cards would you have under that value in this SBC? Yazigi, Hazard, Gullivan, Zakaria, Sanchez. Literally, okay, and Delict. Six players would be under 260,000 coins of value. Now, would that make this SBC worth the gamble? I mean, potentially you could still say yes, because a lot of these cards are items that could get upgraded based off of how their team plays. I'm hoping it's like an 86 rated squad or an 87, but I really think it could it could be an 87 or an 88 rated squad with a team of the season player requirement. And now I want to talk about SBC fodder as well, because you might be asking, can we invest? Fodder's up. Fodder is up for sure. You know, 84s are 7. They were 8K earlier today with the 82 times 8 being released and the 83 times 10. 85s are up 11, 12,000 coins. And some of this other higher tier fodder is, you know, starting to creep up there as well. Now, the most interesting thing about all this stuff is if you guys invested or stocked your club with some of these team of the season cards that were quote unquote discard a couple weeks ago, you're absolutely making bank. A lot of these cards, like look at this, Mir Mirzinski, 45K, Sun Tzu, 42,000 coins, Wang is extinct. A lot of these quote unquote lower tier Tots cards like Mimisevich, the 86 rated Tots, Lou Dianzo, these guys are extinct on the market right now because the demand has taken over for these SPCs. This guy's extinct at 32,000 coins. He was 14K literally two weeks ago. So you're seeing a huge rise on informs. Seriously, informs and um, th these team of season cards. I mean, it's reminiscent of how informs spiked crazy in March. Uh, you know, when you saw some of these prices go to the moon, right? Informs were to the moon. We were just, you know, just, just amazed and how much these cards went up. 84 informs, 25,000 coins. You guys remember Leibold, right? This dude was discard a couple weeks ago, 12K after, uh, you know, dropping for the longest time when, when informs were like 40,000 coins in March. Now he's down to like 12, 11,000 coins and he's absolutely exploded. All of these cards have exploded. So if you have these cards in your club, um, you know, you could maybe take the cash today because if they require a if they require a team of the season or a team of the week card for this guaranteed PTG SBC today, that's going to even make those go higher on the market and more extinct. Now you might say, yo, Nate, why are those informs extinct when we have a team of the week upgrade SBC that is out in this game? Well, this is one of the biggest L's of FIFA 21, in my opinion. This team of the week upgrade is not 81 plus. You can do this and turn an 82 rated squad in and get a 76 or a 77 rated inform. And nobody has any use for that when the squad rating you're trying to achieve is like 85 or above. So I think that's a huge L. This needs to be upgraded to 81 plus if there's going to be any use for it, maybe even 82 plus. 
uh, in this game. So the one thing I would watch out for, though, is if we have some sort of pack code that is something like a guaranteed tots pack, right? They could very easily drop a guaranteed tots pack that would be tradable that would then supply some of these tots cards. I would not worry about that just yet. All I'm saying is a lot of these team of the seasons that are fodder that are going extinct on the market. You know, they're, they're you know, I would consider taking your coins, and that's why you're seeing the crazy high prices is because all this SBC demand that has come recently. So that's just my thoughts on, um, you know, some of the fodder for today's SBC. I've got a decent amount of stuff in the club. I actually sold a lot to lazy buyers. Like a lot, look at these, like 14,000 coins for 85s. I was getting today some 84s. I was getting in like the eight to nine K range. I sold a couple of these down in the sevens just because I wanted to get them out. Right. But again, eight K, a couple of these guys in the, in the high eight range, like Saul Alaba. So you know what? I was very happy with those sales today. I do think during rewards, what you're going to see is the 84 market and the fodder market. See, we're kind of, you know, we're selling off a little bit right now into weakening rewards, but with all the SBCs that are out, the prime icon upgrade, the, you know, all the player SBCs, this 83 times 10, the 82 times eight, the 85 plus player pick that people may not have finished. And if, again, the fodder that's coming today, I do think you're going to see fodder dip during rewards with supply and then get bought back up. So you see a bit of a dip, then it'll rise again into the day today. Now, I guess if you wanted to focus on one area of fodder today, I would maybe look at like 86s and 87s. I mean, specifically 87s because these are 22,000 coins a piece. You know, they're up like, you know, three to 4,000 coins a card from where they were. These guys are like 17K, 18K. Um, and they're up a little bit. They're not, they're not up crazy though, right? Bernardo Silva was 26 K. He went down to 23 right now. He's 22. So if you see these 87s at like 20 K during rewards, then I would say that could be a potential buy because then you're going to see them go up higher into the content drop today and potentially even higher than that afterwards. Uh, now if you see a huge, if these go from like 20,000 coins during rewards on bid all the way to like 26, 27,000 coins, you know, that might be a lot of over-investing and you might want to take your money. But I'm just saying, watch out for that sort of fluctuation today. That might be a potential quick flip, if you will, for some of the stuff on the market. Now, also, I guess this kind of is roped into the fodder uh, question and the fodder talk is that if you have rare golds uh, or if you're buying rare golds to do player picks, these are probably going to be cheaper today. How much are rare golds? Yeah, rare golds have dropped off. Are they 1.2K right now? Maybe they're down... Wow, they're actually down like uh, 200 coins. These were like insta selling at 1.3 earlier. Now they're 1.1. I would definitely keep a watch on these rare golds today during rewards, probably dipping down to like the 1K range, even lower than that. And that's going to make player picks a lot cheaper if you're trying to do one more full send to pack these PTG cards. So I'm going to clear all these off, get those out of there. And let's talk about the rewards market, right? I'm still listing a lot of these cards and I've got a lot of items that I'm trying to sell tonight for weekly rewards. This is a Don's been over a million coins all week. Just got really, really low tonight. There's still one at 940. That's honestly a, a pretty good buy. Uh, I think I'll be able to sell this at like 1.05, 1.06 in the next 24 hours or so. I basically just bought a lot of TOTS cards, lower tier team of the seasons. I bought this Luke Shaw at 200K because he fluctuates around a lot. And um, I'm kind of interested with his links to people probably doing the Lindelof SBC today with their rewards. So I bought a lot of the lower tier stuff, right? Um, and I think that is where we could see the market move up a little bit this week. You know, just some of your rare cards as well. Team of the seasons are what people are using at this stage of the game. Again, this guy's actually kind of low. 650 for Valverde is pretty cheap. So just kind of poke around the market and find some stuff that is rare, that is meta, that people are still using in this game. I think this Alessandrini at like 190 is a good buy. I bought some Malins because of the link to the potential um, people that are doing the Gutsa SBC. I also bought a left back. I didn't buy Roberto Carlos, but I bought Enrique, the Brazilian, because there weren't any left backs that were dropped this week. Uh, and people might be needing to link the same left backs that they use in previous weeks. Um two cards that they would be using in their weekly teams this week. So I bought a couple left backs, but let's talk about PTG cards because again, I think these cards are very high in demand and we have our first two cards that are on two wins. We have Verratti and Florenzi, both Italians. They have gotten two wins under the belt. Verratti was like 480K last night. He's now up to 540 as we enter the pre-rewards time frame. This would be a card today that I would 100% watch out for because, because again, he's got that, you know, he's getting very, very close to his upgrade and that's going to make people want to buy him because they think he's going to go up after he gets these upgrade. But again, these are probably going to act a lot like those what if cards 
and their peak price is going to hit during that third game when they score a goal to go ahead. People buy them up. They think the price is going to rise, and they're going to peak sometime in between then and the actual upgrade time. And then most likely after that, they're going to drop off a little bit from people investing and thinking the card's going to go up even more. Uh, and then it'll actually drop down from the, you know, overinvestment, if you will. So that's kind of what I would watch out for. But a lot of these cards today are just really rare. And I really want to watch out for them during rewards. Um, you know, a guy like Dobinson Sanchez really interests me. Players that have their second games today on Thursday as well. Dobinson Sanchez is one of those. I mean, this guy was 200,000 coins flat earlier in the day. If he goes to 200K flat again at rewards, I would be interested, right? I know we have Lindelof and there might be people that sell their Dobinson to go do Lindelof, but this is a live card, right? And the big thing to know about this week is, again, they're just live items. Acuna has a ton of hype himself as well. He was like 480K earlier today. Right now, he's like 490, almost 500,000 coins. If this card drops off today, he's got a lot of demand, a lot of hype. People think Argentina is going to do well in the Copa America. I do think that he could be rising after rewards today as well. So I think some of these cards will drop down low in the first hour or so of rewards and then probably bounce back up, honestly. Uh, and if they don't, if they don't drop at all, then I would fear a little bit of overinvestment. But um, just watch the panic on them, right? This Kai Havertz was like two mil flat a couple hours ago. He's bounced back up. Uh, Vinicius was like 3.5 mil. And I believe now he's back up to like 3.8, 3.9 mil. So these cards are just really rare and they're moving around a lot. Yes, they're going to get packed some today, but also people are going to be getting some coins. Top 200 players, there's going to be team of the season cards that are in packs. And that's going to supply the market with a decent amount of coins as well. So just kind of watching out for that today is going to be interesting. But I do expect a lot of these guys to rise post rewards because people are going to see this as the last time where these guys would be in packs. Now, for team of the seasons, again, you notice the ones that I bought. A lot of the cards that I bought today were lower than 91 rated. Because again, if you look at the weekend league rewards for Elite Plus and top 200 players this weekend, and of course, into next weekend as well, you are seeing the deluxe 91 plus deluxe ties three players packs for elite. And then the uh, for the top 100, they are getting the 91 tots uh, 11 players pack. So the deluxe basically means top five leagues and is 91 plus. So you, there's a lot of good team of the season cards out there that are not 91 rated or higher, right? Think of guys like Lacroix. You think of guys uh, that are a couple of the other guys that I bought, like uh, Bailey, Lucas Paqueta, Klaus, uh, Luke Shaw, 89 rated, right? I believe the Fofana card is 89 rated or 90 rated as well. Chao Henrique, very in-demand card, Areola. So the tots that I bought are not going to be supplied today, but that might be a part of the market where you want to look at, right? There could be some team of the season cards today that get packed, tradable, that would be still in pretty high demand. And, you know, would be potential good flips today. Maybe somebody like a, a cheeky Kaylor Navas might be a card you keep your eye on today because people are still running some of those La Liga, or sorry, League One back lines. This guy was like 110K earlier today. Right now he's back to 120, but he's going to be probably in a decent amount of those packs today because he's higher rated, going to have a little bit higher of a pack weight as a goalkeeper. Maybe that's not the best example, but that's kind of what I would do today, right? Look through some of the team of seasons if you're going to be on the market at rewards. Now, don't worry about the secondary leagues, right? The secondary leagues are not going to be in the tradable packs. They will only be in red picks, only in red picks. So it's only going to be the top five leagues that will be in those tradable packs from elite and above and 91 plus. So just kind of watch them these cards like you know, maybe you saw like a, a Marquinhos drop today. Maybe you, if you see a Bamba drop again, still a lot of good links there. Maybe Di Maria with some of the Argentine links that we have had recently. You know, maybe even some of the Serie A cards like Lukaku, you know, still in demand with the a link to the Ericsson objective or, you know, Mertens, very valuable card. Teo Hernandez, pretty valuable card as well. Uh, Quadrado links to the new Davinson. So stuff like that, I would be on the lookout for today if there is some supply that comes to this game and other content that we could see today on Thursday, most likely marquee matchups, right? The content dropped today on Thursday is going to be very interesting because we should have marquee matchups, the guaranteed PTG pack, and potentially another nation players SBC. We've had the Sweden nation players. We've had Uruguay. And I think if it's like every other day or every three days, we might be due another one of these today as our player SBC. Now, we didn't get any player SBCs yesterday. We just had the 82 times 8 and the 83 times 10. But I would assume that EA would pick it back up today 
on Thursday and drop another one of those SBCs. So there's a lot to look out for today, right? A lot to watch out for, a lot to be, I guess, uh, cognizant of and, and waiting to see content wise fodder might get low go back up again then peak a little bit um, but again i really think that fodder is going to drop off again this weekend because it looks like we're going to have a team too because a lot of these sbcs are going away on friday again you see jota uruguay nation player jimenez peace check they're all going away in one day 13 hours or less uh the player picks the primer moments upgrade again it just seems like one of those resets is happening on Friday, which means to me, new stuff is coming out. Also on Friday, we have the brand new season. So again, this is your last call. Uh, if you want to complete any of these objectives or your icon swaps, right? I need to play two games of Rivals uh, to get this icon swap token. Probably not going to finish these two. Uh, but icon swaps, season progress, level 23. Hey, yo, I'm kind of proud of myself, man. That's actually like the farthest, one of the farthest uh, yeah, in terms of levels that I've gotten. So let me get this prime gold players pack. 4,000 XP. We'll see if it happens, but that's not too bad. But just again, another reminder that that is going to be going away. The new icon swap stuff will probably drop on Monday as well. Also keep your eye on the pack code, right? Just in case we have, I don't know what they're going to do with that card design. Again, we have, there's a card design that was shown on the PlayStation store. It was basically like this festival of football design, but it had like a lot of colors in it, right? It had all the colors from the loading screen. Uh, and I really hope that that's maybe our man of the match item or, or something else. Maybe when these cards upgrade, they're going to turn it into a different color. I don't know. But I really hope that we see that specific card design uploaded into the game database. And if we did, then that would be an interesting thing to talk about because we would be expecting it and ready for that to be coming up. Wow, Chan Calais is really cheap. If I saw 140... I would probably buy it. 140 for this is, would be really cheap. Anyways, uh, I'll be watching out for that card design. By the way, Cheeky Flex, I did pack Ver Verati today. So now I have packed Verati, Yorente, and Yaziki. So we're feeling pretty good uh, about the pack pulls on my account this week. But again, it's rewards day. Good luck with your rewards today. And hopefully we have a pretty awesome SBC today for the PTG cards. Now, one last thing. I know I've been talking a lot, but there's a lot to, been go to go over. With PTG cards today... I think they will be their lowest at rewards. I do think they will be their lowest then because they'll probably rise up into 6 p.m. content. There might be a little bit of panic selling after that, depending on the guaranteed PTG SBC when it comes out. But especially for the higher tier cards, there shouldn't be that much panic. You might just see lower price drops on Yaziki, who, by the way, is a decent fodder investment at the same time today during rewards. Keep your eye on that one. Um, but you might see drops on like Golovin, Yaziki, Hazard. Uh, but again, watch Hazard, right? Because Belgium played today. Um, Brazil played today. And uh, Acuna, or no, sorry, Davinson plays today as well. So for the guys that play today on Thursday, again, just like we saw with Verratti, they get that second win. They're going to bounce back up in price. So those are the ones that you want to keep an eye on the most today just wanted to add in that part at the end because that was very i guess specific to what could be coming today content wise on thursday but if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new it's been nathan foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out